No, you're good. Doesn't matter. Yeah, it's gonna rain. We're on this side. So we are heading into Sitka now. Not 100% sure like where we're going in here. I can't quite see like any towns yet. But it looks like we go kind of in towards this way here. It could also be on the other side of the ship. It's uh, a little cool and dreary. We've had some off and on rain this morning. Good morning. Uh, we've already been up and about a little bit. Went to the observation lounge, had like a light breakfast, and then we went to the pub. I can't remember what it's called, the local, uh, and did like a sit down breakfast, uh, which was like very, very small portions. We could have ordered more food, but we didn't. But that's fine. We are pulling into Sitka now. It is just a little bit after 10, and we have an excursion, and our meetup is 11.15. So Norwegian gives you like little tickets for all of your excursions. So we, this one's called Otters, Raptors, and Bears, Oh My. Uh, but basically we're going to spend a couple hours on like a catamaran, uh, kind of going around the little inlets here. And then we also visit the Raptor Center and the Fortress of the Bears. Uh, so kind of a all day nature experience. But we're looking forward to it. Our veranda is functional again since we've slowed down and gotten to port, or getting into port. Wow. So, this bridge 
Oh, there are lots of cable stage versions now, but it's basically just of the bears like the little inside part but you can basically go up on this uh, like boardwalk there's an outside area that you can go to uh, but it's basically a place for like orphaned bears the brown and black bears and they're like super active they pretty much always do this so you see this one out behind us doing all sorts of fun things Katie, what's your souvenir? She got a bear sweatshirt. 204, that's us. Getting on the bus again. wasn't always doing that well. Back in the 1970s, there was fewer than 500 breeding pairs in the lower 48 states. But thanks to restorative efforts such as the banning of DDT and the Endangered Species Act, the population has made an amazing comeback. So we're still at the Raptor Center. And they have this like cool little uh, like nature trail that you can walk down. Looks like we're walking down towards the water down here. I think Katie's down here already.
How's the Raptor Center? <laughs> I liked it. That kind of bird. All right, so the Raptor Center has this cool little nature trail. Yeah. And I'll walk through. You can like go down to the water and stuff. Super pretty. Yeah, I love it. Noelle, you having fun? Yes, I am. Hello. My other sister. I don't know if you've ever been in a video. I don't think I've made any of the content. You know, <laughs> which way we want to go? Uh, we can go this way for now. What, it doesn't look like there's... What time do we have to do that? 20. Okay, we have 10 minutes. Okay, well, we're like a five minute walk back, so we'll get there. Yeah, it's just got this like super beautiful scenic trail. And we're just a strolling. <laughs> <laughs> Very handsome. It's hard, it's hard to say no to that face. <laughs> so this was part of our tour, but this is the admission for if you're just coming. Now we're heading back up to the bus. So, New Archangel was the name of this land uh, at the Russian capital. Sitka is actually an American word. I always thought Sitka was the Russian name.
all eight key stone species. So this means that they sit at the apex of their food chain. And We are back in the room, I think, for the evening now. We're pretty tired. It's 9 uh, about 9.13. It is hard because it's still light outside. Yeah, it doesn't feel like 9.13. Yep. But we had an awesome day in Sitka. Yeah. Our first like real day in Alaska, which is exciting. So we had a tour we booked through Norwegian and it was, uh, it was otters, called... bears, raptors, oh wow. Oh my. Was, oh my, yeah. <laughs> it was essentially two parts. There's like a bus tour that takes you to the Fortress of the Bears and the Raptor Center and then the second part is a catamaran like touring boat kind of around some of the waterways of Sitka and I will note you can do them in like either order. It's advertised to us as doing the boat tour first and then the the bus tour and then the bus tour but because our ship got in later, we did the bus tour, I think while another ship's like excursion did the boat tour, and then we swapped. Yeah. 
So we got on when another group was getting off. Yeah. Um, and, and actually, that worked out really yes. well because <laughs> the boat dropped us off right back at our ship. So that was actually pretty sweet. I think that worked out really well. Yeah. And based on like the way the tour went overall, I'm glad that the boat portion was the second half, just like vibe wise. I feel yeah. like if the bus portion was the second half, it would have like less fun. It like got cooler as the as yeah. it went on. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, so um, Fortress of the Bears is cool because you're guaranteed to see the bears. Yeah, because the rescue bears are there in enclosures and they have them out with their like enrichment that they're doing. Um, they have some good information about the bears. They have um, some workers there who are explaining things and who are like playing with them and stuff. And they were like very active. Yeah. Um, so it was really cool to see them moving around and stuff. So I really, I really enjoyed that. Um, quite a bit. It was crowded. Yes, it is small. It's, it's small like place. one building and there's one small like boardwalk you kind of go up and down, up around, and then you end up back in that same yep. like gift shop building. Yep, and then there's two enclosures with two different types of bears there. So it is very small, but still very cool. But I do hope that maybe like they will eventually expand that because it's a really cool organization, I think. And yeah, absolutely. Doing good work and stuff. So you know, that part was great. And then after that, we went to the um, Raptor Center. I don't remember yep. the exact name. Uh, but it's basically the same type of thing. It's a rescue and hospital center for injured and rescued uh, raptors of all yep. kinds. They have a lot of bald eagles because there's so many bald eagles here. Uh, but they also have other types of raptors. Yeah, like they owls, had some hawks, falcons, hawks. owls, that sort of thing. Yeah. Yeah, so you got like a kind of a quick tour of the facility. They do a little show presentation for you. They bring out one of the eagles, uh, kind of talk about it. And then you're kind of free to roam the facility for a little bit. Yeah. Uh, so they have other, uh, some of their permanent residents essentially yeah. out there. So basically the permanent residents are ones that they have rescued, but they've deemed they can't be rehabilitated to release. So they keep them there, they take care of them and they use them for like educational purposes like that we saw, um, which was really cool. Um, but even I think, I think our favorite part of this whole thing is surrounding the center. They have some trails that you can go down and that's what we did in the second half of our time there. And we kind of walked down the trails and stuff, which are actually, I don't know if you saw this, are sponsored by a couple of the cruise lines, including Norwegian. They had a sign for that. I saw Royal had like one sponsored sign. I yeah. didn't see the Norwegian. Yeah, one. yeah, there was a big one that said Norwegian. So I was like, that's pretty cool that the cruise lines are contributing to the, you know, both of these are nonprofit organizations. So, um, but the trails are really cool. They take you down. You can see like a tiny little waterfall, stream, you know, they're very, picturesque and quiet back there. I wish we had more time to explore those. That would have been really Yeah, cool. and it was nice too, because like after, you know, you're in the bus with all these people, we were at the fortress with all these people, then going through the uh, presentation, you could go back there and like, at one point we got far enough back there where, where there was just no one. So it was just like a nice quiet moment. Yeah, and there was a whole other separate section of the trail that we didn't even have time to go on. So um, it was a really cool space. I think both the Fortress of the Bears and the Raptor Center would be really, really cool spaces if you either were there at a time like where you were doing your own excursion or if you were like visiting Sitka outside of a cruise situation and you could have it a little more like to yourself would be really cool. Then they took us to the dock and we went and got on the boat. Uh, so the boat essentially was supposed to guarantee you that you would at least see otters I think was. They have a disclosure on their little thing where it says if you don't see either I think it's a bald eagle and otter or a whale i believe it was a whale on the list then you would get like a hundred dollar refund or something when you left but um that did not apply because we saw so many things <laughs> yes so we went out there and like right away we spent like an hour looking at a whale and they said it was like first off pretty rare that they see whales kind of where we were mm -hmm. it was like right there in like the bay area right out of sitka 
yeah, we should say this as well that the um, the boat obviously has a, a captain who's driving the boat, a couple of a crew hands, but it also has a naturalist who's giving most of the information on it. And every single person who is on this boat was extremely good. Um, the naturalist was amazing. So they gave lots naturalist. of real naturalist naturalist. Yes naturalist <laughs> are giving a lot of really good um, information about the whales. I like learned stuff about whales I didn't know and birds and otters and sea lions. The naturalist was like <laughs> phenomenal. She yeah. just had all the right information at all the right times. Like yeah. there was never time where like she was just spitting something that wasn't relevant. Yeah. Before we saw the whale, I don't know if this is worth mentioning, but we did see sea lions. Oh yeah, we saw the sea lions. <laughs> they were on the buoy there. Yeah. <laughs> that was right before the whale, and then we saw the whale, and it seemed, according to them, that this was a very unexpected and surprise Unusual. first of the season type thing that they were yeah. seeing this year. And um, basically, it was a it was a humpback whale eating the fish and the krill out in the location and it was very very cool because you could see it each time come up do the um like the cyclone formation around the fish and then so you could see when it was about to come up and eat it because you could see the motion and then you would see its mouth come up and it would eat it and then it would go back down and then a couple seconds later it would do the whole situation where it would come it would come up and crest and the tail would come up and it would dive down and then a few minutes later it would come up kind of nearby and it we did we watched that for it an was hour. like an hour yeah that and the boat was, just circled around that area and it started out it was a little bit further and we would get a little closer and get a little closer and by the end we were right next to it when it was when it was doing that it was very cool yeah it was awesome but we kept going out and we did get to see the otters they were a little bit harder to see, but they are a little They're bit small. smaller. Yeah. But it was still cool. You could see them. And then we saw quite a few bald eagles. I and even saw nests. a nesting pair. Yeah. And there was like an actual nest with young in it. Um, you could like barely see it. I like kind of have it in some video, but it's like kind of real, uh, real glary and shadowy. But you can make out that like there's little, little birds popping up. Mm-hmm. Very cute. And then they also just took us around and talked about kind of the um, like geology and stuff. Um, we saw the volcano that's still active here, the different mountains. When you got along some of the shore, you could see where the glacier had shaped some of the shoreline, which was really cool. Saw a deer. Yeah, we did see yeah, a deer. Yeah, that was a, another one that was unexpected. All in all, it was really good. This whole tour took about a little over five hours. So it was a long tour, but you got to see so much. If like you want to see animals and nature, this was this was a star. Yeah. And I'll still say too, at the beginning of the tour, during the bush portion, we did get a little bit of information about like Sitka itself and some of the history there too. So you got yep. a little nature, you got a little bit about Sitka. Um, it was pretty cool. Yeah, overall it was like a great first impression yeah. of Alaska. Yeah. And the weather wasn't too bad. It was a little cloudy. We had a little tiny drizzle while we were at the Raptor Center, but the sun actually came out while we were on the boat. Yeah, good. yeah. I will note, like, the boat's moving pretty fast, so it is pretty cold. Yes. So you definitely but, make sure you have those layers. Yeah, the layers are really good. Having something, a hood or a hat to cover your ears is good. Yep. But the boat does have, like, a a lower portion that is inside. heated and inside. So we would take breaks down there every so often, which was good. Some people stay down there the whole time. Some of the older folks who didn't want to climb stairs I think but yeah yeah it was, it was and really the boat awesome. had bathrooms <laughs> yep uh, I will note like I said we booked it through NCL we actually got back late it wasn't super late it was a couple minutes yeah which again was a good reason that it took the ship took us right to our ship essentially we just went up a little gangway yeah. and then went on to our it ship. docked right next to our ship so we just had to go right over but yeah overall it was good yeah, it's really good. And we had dinner in Taste, one of the main dining rooms, and I think it was probably our best dinner we've yeah, had it was. so far. Definitely our best server, too. <laughs> yeah, best server, best dinner, like quality of food wise, too. Uh, I had my appetizers were a ba uh, potato soup. Mm -hmm. That was, all the soups have been pretty solid, actually. Yeah. But it was just nice and creamy and also like pretty cheesy. That was good. And then I had, uh, the other appetizer was a... Um, spare rib. 
eight, yeah, it was like an Asian spare rib and summer roll. And a summer roll. And both of those were really good too. Yep. The and spare rib, I think, was the best thing I've eaten so far on the ship. And I actually had for my appetizer, I had a minestrone soup, which was my least favorite soup of the soups I've had. Um, I ate a couple bites and I was like, eh, Ooh. but minestrone's kind of a basic soup anyway. But, and, but I will say I had bites of his appetizers and they were good. <laughs> I had two mains actually. I did the uh, sirloin, which was pretty decent. It came with this baked potato that was like a hundred times better and like even more basic than the baked potato I got the other day. It was just a baked potato with sour, with cream. sour cream, but it was like cooked right. Yeah. It was cooked perfectly and like. It was a good baked potato. Fresh. I had a bite of it. I will say. It was and the good sirloin potato. was decent. Yeah, it looked like a good sirloin. It had a good sauce and it looked like it had some butter on it. So, um, but then you also had the bang bang chicken. Something like that. It was like shrimp. a peanut curried uh, chicken and shrimp. And that was pretty decent as well. Yeah. I actually uh, I split that one. A lot of people at our table got that and they all seemed to enjoy it. Yeah. And then I got a chicken milanese. So it was a um, basically like grilled mm. chicken with a, I think it was a um, red pepper risotto or it was a sun-dried tomato risotto. I can't remember which one. But red pepper risotto. Red pepper risotto, um, which was also very good. Um, I ate almost the whole thing, definitely the whole piece of chicken and most of the risotto. Um, very good. It's very uh, good, a good dinner option, I think. And then we actually got dessert tonight, and I got the tiramisu, which was really good. It's actually a fairly large portion. I did not finish the whole thing. <laughs> yeah, and I got the bananas foster, which I thought was solid. Yeah, and had like ice cream on it, I think. Yep, had a scoop of vanilla ice cream with it. It was good. Yes, good. I enjoyed it. Yeah. But yeah, that was our Sitka day. Overall, really awesome day. Yeah. Uh, definitely makes us look forward to tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow we are in Juneau, and it's also our Glacier Day, so it's kind of a split day. We're doing sled dog. the sled dog like summer camp in the morning, so it's not like actually on the snow. Uh, it's kind of visiting the facility. That's a, a quicker tour. It's supposed to be about two and a half hours, and then we are doing the small boat Glacier Explorer. So that's supposed to be the little boat that should be pretty similar to our I think boat it's today, very actually. To what we did but today. it's going to go out ahead of the ship into Glacier Bay, and then there it's, should be. I think there's someone on there who will yeah. guide us through it a little bit more. Should be pretty similar to today. Yeah, I think, I think it's going to be the exact same kind of boat from what it looks like. Yeah, which is good because it was a it, for that you know situation. It'll be good to have. But type typically this sort of experience lets you get out ahead of the ship a little bit and get a little bit closer to the glaciers. Mm -hmm. So it's the one that I'm looking most forward to. Yeah, and from what we heard from our friends who are on the sailing a few weeks ago, there really isn't someone on the ship who is like kind of guiding you through the glacier as far as giving you the information. So I think having that person to give us some more info. You know, detailed info will be really nice. But yeah, well, I think... Yeah. That's going to do it. We're looking forward to tomorrow. Yeah. Thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to like, subscribe, ring the bell, all of that fun YouTube stuff, and we'll see you tomorrow. Bye, guys. Bye.